Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Quick Learn and for today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the Facebook Meta Business Suite. Now this is a beginner's tutorial, so this is very quick and simple. So make sure to follow the steps once I show you. Now first head on to your computer browser and go to the Meta Business Suite website. Uh, just search for Meta Business Suite right here and enter the first and go to the first link that shows. Now once you're in the Meta Business Suite, all you have to do is to click on Get Started right here or Start Now and you will now create a page right about there. So for now, I already have my Meta Business Suite set up right about here. So as you can see, this is my business connected to my Business Meta Suite. So first I'm going to explain to you some tools and some edits right about here. So first I'm going to go to edit right here and under edit you can select the tools that appear on your menu for your business. So for now, this, so these are the default right here. Um, you have home notifications and all the tools. So now um, if you want to um, put the business feed into your menu right here, so all you have to do is to click on that if you want to click on the manage option just click on account quality some billing right about there so, so so it's all up to you and mind you you can only select up to 10 tools right there so once I have done that I can now actually save this one as you can see um, the things that I have um, selected under edit is now visible in my menu right about here so next is I want to go to account quality this is to show you um, the account quality of your page so as you can see um, they don't have enough feedback from the customer so they haven't received enough um, purchase feedback for this page to show your feedback score so make sure that you have enough um, feedback page I mean um, um, feedback score so that you will have a, a detailed feedback right about here so next is I want to go right here to my account overview and right about here this is my account overview so I'm just gonna select get started right about there and as you can see these are the recent account issues so for now if you have an an account issue it will um, show right here and mind you if you have an account issue you cannot um, do stuff um, well on the meta business suite so I highly suggest that you don't do anything um, highly um, bad so that you won't have some any account issues and next is I want to go to my business account so I'm just gonna select um, my business account right here as you can see this is my business account that I have just recently created now if you want to create your own business account and this is the first step in order for you to build a meta business suite page so all you have to do is to create an account or is to create a business account so I'm just gonna click on a drop down right here and as you can see um, I have two business accounts right here so I'm just gonna select um, create business account now this is just for the sake of the video I want to show you how to actually create um, a business meta suite from scratch so the first thing we want to do is to create a business account so I'm just gonna select create a business account right here and of course name your business account so I'm just gonna select um, my business account right there and now enter your first name and of course your last name so uh, so next is sorry so uh, answer your business account right there and enter your first name and of course your last name and next is to enter the business email so make sure to enter a valid business email so i'm just going to select this email right here and next is to actually click on create right about there so now once you have done that it will automatically lead you to this next page right here so what do you want to claim is a business account so if you have a page that you want to claim all you have to do is to click on next right here um, if you don't have a page that um, you want to actually claim so just um, simply skip on that so as you can see right here i don't have um, any pages available to be claimed so I'm just gonna head on skip right here and now right about here is you want to if you want to enter on a certain type of person to manage your account or to or if you want to work with someone just enter the email address that you want to work with someone so I'm just gonna select um, this email right here 
and, and you have the option to add them as an employee or a business administrator so so I'm just gonna select um, employee right here because I want I don't want anyone to have a full control of my um, of my business account so next I want to add an employee right here or you can just skip this if you don't feel like adding a certain uh, a certain people so I'm just gonna click on next right here and then I just go to confirm right about there so once you have done that we can now create a page so, or or we can now um, create a page now to actually create a page all you have to do is go to the business um, account that we just recently created right here go to settings and it will lead you to this um, page right here now if you want to create a page all you have to do is go to pages right here under accounts go to pages just click on that and now it will lead you to this page right here now if you want to create a page all you have to do is to add pages right here and now you have the option to create a new Facebook page or claim an existing Facebook page or request to share a Facebook page now this is a tutorial on how to make a video or how to make um, or, or how to use Meta Business Suite from scratch so for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you how to create a new Facebook page. So I'm just going to select create a new Facebook page. Now just simply name your page, just like my page right about there. And you can select up to three categories. So um, let's say restaurant, um, business, and next is cafe right about there. So you can actually um, add any type of category on what your business is all about so mind you you can only add up to three now next is bio so this is optional you can um, add what the business does the services you provide or the purpose of your page so for now i'm just gonna i'm not gonna do that um next is i'm gonna select simply next right here and as you can see this is the, the page will be created and added make business as a business account so i'm just gonna hit on the checkbox right here to agree on a meta, meta terms and services and I'm going to select create page right here and we'll just wait for that so that we will click on done once it has been processed as you can see um, the page is successfully created so I'm just going to click on done right here and now I'm going to go to the page that we have just recently created so as you can see right here this is the page that we have just recently created so this is the summary owned by um, my bus make business and this is the page ID now what you want to do next is go to this three dotted lines right here and select view on Facebook now this will automatically go to the Facebook page right here now right right here you can now go to um, switch right here and now click on switch and now we can now um, edit some of our pages right here so right about here you can actually um, go to Facebook Meta Business Suite again and it will automatically lead you to this page now right here you can actually do some magic right here you can now create a post right here if you want to and just enter the details you want to add you can add a photo you can add a video you can use a template on Vimeo and just type on the text and now you can actually have a scheduled options right here if you want to publish it now you can actually publish a post if you want a scheduled post just enter the date and the time you want to um, post this one or you can just save this as draft if you want to edit that real quick so once you have done that just click on the schedule right here if you want to have a scheduled post or click on publish now if you want to publish it instantly now next is I'm gonna go to um, create ad so right about here um, if you want to create an ad for your business to promote or for Facebook to promote your business you can actually do that just click on create an ad right here so so I highly suggest that if you are starting a business just click on promote a PR page right here and just enter the details that you want to promote so um, this so, so this is the page right here that you want to promote and if your ad is about credit employment housing or social issues or some or some elections or politics just toggle this one right here and select the category so for now um, I don't want to do this because my ad is all about business so as you can see it is not about a special category next is the audience so as you can see the, the default audience is right here 
So the Philippines and the age is about 18 to 65. So you can actually edit that one. You just go to this pen icon right here. And now you can actually um, have the option on what gender to uh, on what gender will your ad be seen so for now i'm just going to click on all right here and the ages let's say around 25 to 65 plus and if you want to add more locations just type on the add more locations right here and just simply scroll it i'm um, just scroll it to zoom and you can now drop the pin on what on where you want your ad to actually um, um view so for now i'm just going to select right here and just look save on it so as you can see right here it is now um, added into my audience details. So next is the schedule and duration of your ad. So I highly suggest to choose this ad when this will end, so, um, so that to avoid uh, so that to avoid un, unavoided charges on run this ad con continuously. Um, I don't usually do this because I don't want to have um, extra charges. So for now, I'm just gonna um, go to choose this ad when this will end, so I can track on what on when will this ad will end. So next, I'm just gonna select a start date. So for now, for example, I'm just gonna select the start date right now, right here. I'm just gonna select the time on when will this ad be starting. And of course, you want to add a duration, so I'm just gonna select 10 days right here. And next is um, the daily budget. Now, as you can see, the daily budget, if you have more budget, a lot of accounts will be catered per per day. So if you have a smaller budget, obviously you have a small, small accounts or small profiles will be catered per day. So the sweet spot right here for me is around 200 pesos. So this is around, um, I think, I think four to five dollars per, per day. So once you have done that, just click on add funds right here and now just enter some bank details. So you can actually um, add a payment method using your debit or credit card. And here in the Philippines, um, we have PayMayo wallet and some Gcash. And these two are not available internationally because these are only available locally. And these two are actually um, mobile wallets. And this, this is only available in the Philippines. So if you are living internationally, a debit or credit card is highly suggested. So just enter the amount that you want. For example, we have 2,000 right here. We, we, need, we need a 2,000 um, daily budget or a 2,000 total budget. So I'm just going to select 2,000 right here. And I'm going to select the debit card. I'm just going to head on next right here. And now it will lead you to the card details. So just enter the name of your card. Uh, I mean the name on the card, the card number, the um, the date of expiration, of course, the CVV. So once you have done that, just click on save. And now, um, of course, um, your ad will now be reviewed. So I'm just going to select how will it show right here. So this is the page that I have recently paid for an ad so as you can see I have gone to add and as you can see right here this is what will it look if you are paying for an ad so as you can see I have completed a lot of ads right here as you can see right here so this is the ad that we have created and as you can see the status of the ad and how many reach um, right here for the duration of the ad and the objective and the amount spent so for that that is um, basically it for the ad section so I think that's it for this video so um, that's basically the gist of it and I hope you find this video helpful and if you have some comments some questions or even some suggestions just feel free to comment it down on a comment section below so that's it for this video and I hope you find this video helpful and if you do please don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to this channel and of course click on that notification bell to be notified for future videos. Bye!